quick is going to repeat, all right, and kind of tight. So if you were pre, okay, myotonic, this is basically DM1, you're 35 to 49 repeats. That is my grandmother, okay? No symptoms, she's going well, she's kicking it, so she's good. All right, she's got 35 to 49 repeats. You got mild, all right? My dad is at 58, he really hasn't had symptoms, okay? So he's 57 years old with 58 repeats. Uh, the most he's had is cataracts. He has a little bit of cramping in his hand, but nothing too bad. Um, he's a machine though, so you can tell 58 repeats hasn't slowed him down, all right? He's still, you know, he works his, you know, 80, 100 hour weeks. He's killing it, all right? He's a contractor. 58 repeats has an effect on him. Um, my little sister, she got tested. She actually found out she's got 150, all right? Now, that makes more sense. If a male gives birth to their, his kids, they usually don't go too far down. Otherwise, a female who gives birth, it usually goes this way. Remember, I'm not saying this is what happens. I'm telling you what usually happens. So usually, if a male gives birth, their child isn't that much higher. So she dropped down to about 150, which is really normal. So he's at 58, where it's mild. She's at 150 exact. So Right now, she's 25 and she has no symptoms. So that makes me feel like she's not really classic. And if she is, she's very at the low end. But I think she's, you know, she's right at the cuff of uh, mild as well. So she's doing well, you know, no, not many symptoms, all right? So once again, though, she's only 25. We don't know what will happen, you know, as time goes on. Now, the lucky one, this guy, all right? From a father who's 58, they thought, they told me, they're like, hey, you're gonna be between 150 and 200. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I expected that. When the test results came back, they're like, oh, surprisingly, all right, because this, like I said, usually what happens, unlike me, I went from classic and I'm at 350 to 4. 50 and some people usually they'll get a number mine differs okay and some people I've, I've had some people say they're you know like 64 and then they're also like 500 and something so going off some molecular stats okay 350 and 450 so I'm in this range some areas will be affected this way some this way all right so, for me being classic, all right, obviously we're gonna have more symptoms, all right? The more repeats you have, like I say, generally, usually, okay, the more symptoms you'll have, more repeats, more symptoms. Okay, also you get at a younger age. All right, so mild, you know, a little bit of weakness, you know, a maybe slight myotonia. Like I said, it took my dad he was in his 50s to have a little cramping in his hand, like very, very minor, all right? So that's with he, him at 58, like I said, my sister's 25, she's younger than me, so I don't really know, you know, when it's gonna impact her, if at all. So, I mean, granted, she's 150, so I'm sure as she ages, she might feel a little bit here and there, but she's holding up pretty good right now. Myself, obviously, you know, I got, you know, more repeats, but you know, I got joint pains, you know, neck pain I've been struggling with since I was young. Myotonia, I was, I want to say 14 or 15, where I started noticing it. Um, I don't want to say it's worse, because the only time I'm okay with it is really, you know, in the weight room. It's weird, but it's awesome. So, um, so otherwise, you know, the repeats is definitely where I'm going to cap off, you know, maybe muscular-wise is gonna be probably sometime soon, but it doesn't mean I can't still do what I do. But I know as you get older, you know, your symptoms will progress. You can try to keep them down as much as possible because I'm here, all right, and we all know the supplements I take, the exercises I do, you know, I've been working out for nine years now. So 
when I go see my neurologist, she says I'm near this range. Okay, I'm dealing with my symptoms, not like I'm in this range. Okay, so what I have done has helped me, you know, fall into a different category. So she goes like, yeah, you're mild because of, you know, my symptoms, which is really good. And really, and she gives a lot of credit to my activity, my workouts, my supplementation. And I can't stress enough that it is important. I'm not saying what I'm doing is like magic or a miracle. It's just, you know, it's definitely stuff that is truthfully going to help you. All right? I wouldn't just put that out there for nothing. Okay, this is what she said, this is what where I am, this is where you know I'm trying to stay to be, you know. Like I know I don't get me wrong, I have my impacts where it's like, you know, geez, a little bit of pain. You know, sometimes like watching TV, it's like um oh, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Little stuff like that, it's, you know, still, you know, it comes up. Kids, you know, inevitable. But it doesn't mean I can't, you know, do everything I can in my ability to keep my symptoms lower. All right. So then again, more you got severe over that thousand and where it becomes congenital. Um, but classic can go all the way to a thousand. Like I said, maybe you had somewhere with seven or 800 repeats. It's going to be, like I said, usually harder. Like I have people who are like, yeah, I'm between 150 and like 220 repeats. I'm like, you're going to gain more muscle than I am realistically because I have more repeats. Alright, I'm not saying this is like, you know, 100% accurate, but this is generally how it will fall. Alright, so, like I said, my father, my sister, myself, we're all different. Usually, this doesn't happen. Can't usually should have been about right here. But, I just want to let you guys know, repeats, yeah, they do matter. Okay, they really do. Um, however, sometimes, depending on what you do and how you live, can definitely help impact your symptoms. All right, so just take care of your body, be active, eat well. I think some of the supplements may help, consult your doctor. All right, and we'll see you in the next video.